Green burial is, is also called natural burial, is a full body burial in the earth, uh, unimpeded, uh, so that we can uh, encourage natural decomposition. A green burial is really a return to the burials that we had in this country 200 years ago. There are three uh, requirements. Uh, that the body not be embalmed, that it be placed in a biodegradable, simple casket that will return to the soil, and that there uh, is no burial vault or box around the casket, which is common in some conventional cemeteries. Green burial has been around, but it's uh, catching on and growing among people who have never really considered it before. I think the reason that people are looking at natural burial as, as, a, as a, the most reasonable process for disposing of bodies now is because they want to do something that is more authentic to the way that they lived. Look at the lines at your Whole Foods store, you know? They're all over the country now and people are standing in line to get organic apples and beautiful produce that has not been treated with pesticides. I think all of us want a more authentic uh, uh, experience and relationship to the planet, and we don't want preservatives in our food. We don't want chemicals involved in our uh, funeral services. So funeral directors all over the country now are getting workshops in what a green burial is and the needs of these new families and um, the demands of a, a consumer that wishes to take uh, the uh, planet into consideration at the end of life. A lot of people are saying that the baby boomers started this like they start everything else, um, but, but I don't think they can take full credit for it. Their own parents are, are putting pressure on them to say we want to do this differently. Their kids are certainly saying that they want to do it differently. Um, it's a pretty much an equal opportunity uh, you know, effort to advocate for this. Some people make the assumption that a green burial family is going to be a hippie family from the 1960s. Uh, very conservative Christians uh, are also believers that stewardship of the earth is an important Christian value. So we're seeing conservative Christians interested in simple burial, burial shrouds just like Jesus had, uh, lighter caskets, and um, then always of course uh, Jewish families and others are um, wanting to be true to their tradition. With the rise in cremation, we're losing ritual and ceremony, and uh, green burial seems to be bringing that back. People participate more in the entire process during a, uh, a natural burial. Um, a lot of people are concerned about the price of a green burial, and the most important thing you can do early is buy the plot. Figure out your cemetery and buy your plot, because that piece of real estate will only climb in price. So if you do nothing else, uh, find out uh, where you're going to be buried and go ahead and purchase that. In natural burial cemeteries, you're purchasing the right to be buried in uh, somewhere on that property, wherever it makes the most sense, where it's physically uh, possible, and so on. And you are also changing the way that we're thinking about this. Instead of thinking that we're going to be owning property for eternity, we're thinking about owning that, you know, having that space available to us um, until our body is no longer there and it is then um, it's 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 earth to earth. So it's part of, of uh, changing our perception uh, as Americans that we have the right to own property even when we're dead. And that's going to have a financial impact on, um, on, on the way that we do burials. Green burial is a way uh, to powerfully unite with your family in doing something of real social value. You know, it's really important that we eliminate waste in all our endeavors, and green burial is a lovely way to exit and pay tribute to the planet that has given us a home for so long.